Hello everyone, today we'll be looking at the Film Density DSTL by Ball Avenger. If you don't know how to install a DSTL, go back to the first video in the top right right now, or find it on my channel. In there I explain how to quickly install it in a very simple way. So the last video I explained how the Tetra DSTL works. And we still have the same basic node setup with a CST that takes it from S-Log S Gamma 3 Cine, S-Log 3, sorry, uh, to Rec 709 Gamma 2.4, a white balance node, an exposure node, and then Tetra makes a little bit of a look, as you can see. So what the film density DSTL tries to emulate is subtractive color. This is a process that appears in film. So where the more saturated a certain color becomes, the darker it becomes in opposed to a digital sense where the more saturated the color becomes, the brighter it is. This creates a very dark and deep color instead of a very bright and light color. So let's get into it. We'll add another note behind our look note. We'll call it density, for example. We'll add our DCTL and we'll select our film density. So to keep it simple, all you need to do pretty much is drag up the density and as you can see the skin tones start to become a very dark color very deep color a very vibrant and deep color it's very evident here in the hair where it goes from this dull color to this deep and rich color that looks much more pleasing to the eye so we're gonna put it to one for now which is a decent amount and I find red a little bit too high, so we can put the red weight down a little bit and specifically red will become less dense. I like green being a little bit weighted, so we can always, you know, make it extra dark, for example. Same goes with blue, I like a dark blue, but as you can see it does the opposite to the green, so we're gonna not touch it too much. So the shot went from this, the before, to this, as after. It's a much more pleasing and deep colored shot than what you have before. As you can see, it has a lot of depth and detail to especially skin tones, but also all the tones you choose. The last two sliders here, I wanted to affect my Luma a little bit less. As you can see, you can adjust how much it limits the Luma. And here is the one for the saturation. So yeah, that was it for this video, guys. As you can see, it really elevates that look to a more filmic and pleasing image. If you have any questions, ask me down below and see you all in the next one.